After over two and a half years, I'm finally going back to Thailand. I forgot just how magical this place is. <laughs> Anyone who's been to Thailand has invariably been to this place, which is Bangkok Suwanabu International Arrivals Hall. And here is the immigration. Yes, made it out. And here I am in Thailand, finally. Bangkok's my favorite city in Thailand, but as the cliche goes, I only spent one night here. I was actually in transit to another place, but it was a good stopover, as always. And I really didn't have to leave the one-block radius of my hotel. It had hotel, five stories worth of food court restaurants. It had the Japanese street right here. And it had salon massage, shopping, everything you could want. This is as close to Japan as I could get this year, and it's a pretty good imitation. Really cheap, but the electrical system gives it away. It's Thailand. First stop tonight, Joanne's Bar. Joanne! Of course, the Swedish-American theme continues. You can run, but you can't hide. Oh good, you get to see how uncoordinated I am. I made way for <laughs> these Korean boy band wannabes. Everyone had these 1.5 liter thermos type drinks, so I got in on the party. This was a great idea. This escalated quickly, as you can see. This guy's hair was a highlight of my night. I asked him where he gets this product. He goes, 7-Eleven. It's almost as good as this guy's Louis Vuitton shirt, Hawaiian print cargo shorts, and Crocs. Over the last two years, Bangkok club scene has become a Korean K-pop concert. And I'll leave you with this. This is how I ended the night. The next day I was scrolling through my news feed and I saw Joanne got engaged. My memory was kind of hazy last night, but I think I would have remembered proposing to a Thai drag queen. And somehow I managed to make my flight. Thank you, Thailand, as always.